Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. A biblical and secular historical literature. So sit back and enjoy. The Hebrew origin of modern science. This is a icon of St. Luke, the evangelist, Russian, 16th century, Novgorod. You can find this icon in the Icon Museum, Rechlinghausen, Germany. The Babylonian origin of Greek science. Rationalism, the Greeks, and the Jews. Rationalism and the Jews. From whom did the ancient Greeks get their literacy, mathematics, science, architecture, and for that matter, democratic precepts? We find that the translation of Greek works represents but the completion of a cycle in which the Jews and their Babylonian progenitors or forefathers provided the fountain from which the Greeks obtained their knowledge. Abraham was from Ur of the Chaldees or Chaldeans. And in interpolating the birth and development of scientific rationalism from such records and relics, we should first take note that science can be said to have begun with the greatest intellectual leap the human mind ever took. The biblical attribution of the creation of the universe to a single undefinable force The world egg, or cosmic egg, or mundane egg, is a mythological motif found in the cosmogonies of many cultures. Typically, the world egg is a beginning of some sort, and the universe, or some primordial being, comes into existence by Hatching from the egg, sometimes laying on the primordial waters of the earth. Continuing from the article, World Egg or Cosmic Egg, Modern Cosmology, George Le Maitre proposed in 1927 that the cosmos originated from what he called the primeval atom. The atom. The identity between the Egyptian sun god, Atum, or Atom, and the atom of modern science. There are two things which I desire to point out in connection with the relationship between Atum, the Atom, the Egyptian sun god, and the Atom of modern science. These things are, one, the similarity of attributes, and two, the similarity of names. One, 
The Egyptian god Atum or Atom means self-created everything and nothing. A combination of positive and negative principles. From the book Stolen Legacy, George G. M. Jones. The ancient Egyptian god Atum or Atom had positive and negative principles. The Atom has positive and negative charges. And that is because Atum is the Atom. It's the personification of the atom the Egyptians the Babylonians the Greeks the Romans the Canaanites the Assyrians these ancient civilizations worshipped science George Henry Joseph Edouard Le Maitre was a Belgian Catholic priest Theoretical physicist, mathematician, astronomer, and professor of physics at the Catholic University of Lavan. Lamont also proposed the Big Bang Theory of the origin of the universe, calling it the hypothesis of the primeval atom and later calling it the beginning of the world. The idea or concept of the atom goes back to the earliest civilizations, such as the Sumerians, the ancient Babylonians, the ancient Egyptians, and the ancient Indians, and the ancient Greeks, the atomist. A final alternative to the question of the underlying character of the universe was provided by the atomist. The philosopher chiefly responsible for the development of the atomic theory was Democritus, who lived in Abdera, on the Thracian coast in the second half of the 5th century. As their name implies, the atomists held that the ultimate constitutes of the universe are atoms, infinite in number, indestructible and indivisible. Although these differ in size and shape, they are exactly alike in composition because of the motion inherent in them. They are eternally uniting, separating, and reuniting in different arrangements. Every individual object or organism in the universe is thus the product of a fortuitous Concourse of Atoms, World Civilization, page 188. The only the only difference between a human and a tree is the difference in the number and arrangement of their atoms. This philosophy represented the final mutation of the materialistic tendencies of early Greek thought. Democritus denied the immortality of the soul and the existence of any spiritual world. Strange as it may appear to some people, he was a moral idolist affirming that good means not merely not to do wrong, but rather 
not to desire to do wrong. World Civilization, page 190. Atomism, from the Greek, atomon, uncuttable, indivisible, is a natural philosophy proposing that the physical universe is composed of fundamental, indivisible components known as atoms. Reference to the concept of atomism and its atoms appeared in both ancient Greek and ancient Indian philosophical traditions. The ancient Greek atomists theorized that nature consists of two fundamental principles, atom and void. Void is space. Antiquity, Greek atomism, Democritus, in the 5th century BC, Lu Kippus and his pupil, Democritus, proposed that all matter was composed of small indivisible particles, which they called atoms. Democritus believed that atoms are too small for human senses to detect. The objects humans see in everyday life are composed of many atoms, united by random collisions, and their forms and materials are determined by what kind of atom they make up. Unit Point Atomism According to some 20th century philosophers, unit point atomism was the philosophy of the Pythagoreans. Pythagoras said, all things are numbers. The real Pythagoras was an Israelite. He was classified in Greek literature as a Phoenician. This is a modern day depiction of Pythagoras. And this is a picture of a Sumerian or Babylonian clay tablet with the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. The tablet is the earliest discovered example of applied geometry. A 3,700-year-old clay tablet has revealed that the ancient Babylonians understood the Pythagorean theorem more than 1,000 years before the birth of the Greek philosopher Pythagoras, who is widely associated with the idea. Science in the Greeks. It has been said that the roots of the tree of knowledge, which bore fruit in Athens, lay in Jerusalem. The physicoi, who are the Greek secular philosophers among the idol worshipping Greek masses, followed Judaic precepts. Physicoi, to understand the meaning of the word physis, translated as natura in Latin. Basic meaning in Greek, much more living and active than what we term as physical nature today. Physis could be better translated as creativity or 
creating coming forth according to a certain logos or word. Aristotle called the pre-Socratic physikoi or physikoi. He called them physicists. Physikoi are known as physicists. This is from the Babylonian origin of Greek science. Physicist. A physicist is a scientist who specializes in the field of physics, which encompasses the interactions of matter and energy at all length and time scales in the physical universe. They work across a wide range of research fields, spanning all length scales from subatomic and particle physics through biological physics to cosmological length scales encompassing the universe as a whole. There's a picture of Albert Einstein. The Greeks thereafter not only adopted the Judaic Babylonian astronomical tables and records, but the Judaic Babylonian system of measurements, the Judaic Babylonian units of weight, the Judaic Babylonian division of a day into hours, minutes, and seconds, the Judaic Babylonian formulas for land measurement. Pythagoras was not born in Greece, but on the island of Samos, off the Antilonian coast or off the coast of Turkey. Pythagoras was a merchant who spent the first part of his life trading in Judah and Babylonia. And he likewise absorbed Eastern knowledge and wisdom during his travels. There is no question that Babylonian mathematics is the foundation of Pythagorean mathematical constructions. Samuel, dedicated by Anna at the temple. By Frank W. W. Topham, 1838 to 1924. The different colors of the Israelites, the artists recognize that the Israelites or multi-colored or a speckled bird. The high priest has chocolate brown hands. Han has a Latino physical type. And the child Samuel is a child that could actually pass for white. The Babylonian Pythagoras Theorem Tablet. On the garment of the Levitical High Priest, there appears the Pythagoras Twisted Square Diagram. Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter 7, New Revised Standard Version, A Prayer for Wisdom, 
verse 15. May God grant me to speak with judgment and to have thoughts worthy of what I have received. For he is the guide even of wisdom and the corrector of the wise. For both we in our words are in his hand, as are all understanding and skill in crafts. For it is he who gave me unerring knowledge of what exists, to know the structure of the world and the activity of the elements, physics, chemistry, math, science, the beginning, end, end, and middle of times. Solomon knew the history of the world from the beginning to the end of the world and prophecy. The alternations of the solstices and the changes of the seasons, the cycles of the year and the constellations of the stars, the natures of animals, zoology, and in tempers of wild animals, the powers of spirits, and the thoughts of human beings, psychology, the varieties of plants and virtues of roots, medicine. I learned both what is secret and what is manifest. For wisdom, the fashioner of all things, taught me. The ancient Hebrews understood physics, science, math, medicine. They understood atoms, subatomic particles, they had deep knowledge into the creation of the world and how the elements work.